Good good morning, everybody. It is 5.23 in the morning, Wednesday, March 20th. Uh, man, today today is just not working out. Uh, today, is, it, it, it's FOMC day. So the good thing is, as I shared with you in your email the other yesterday for the FOMC prep, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do until 2.30. So it doesn't matter what you want to do. Uh, you want to go into work and, you know, eat all day so that you shit your pants so that you can go home, go do it. Uh, you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, just two o'clock, one thirty, uh, not two o'clock, one o'clock, one thirty. you, you want to be ready, ready to go have a game plan, go through it all. I was just going through here a few minutes ago, just scanning through the old, uh, FOMC meetings, last FOMC meeting, down 1%. December FOMC meeting, plus 1%. So, you know, going through to look at where, you know, the measurements are, November 1st, plus 1%. So by all means, by all means, as we had our highest ever close yesterday on that fuckery that they did, <clears throat> 51.75 being the high close prior to that, the 5180, just shy of the 5189 all-time high from March 8th, where jobs report, and we sold down 5189 down to 5117. Bear in mind, okay, we have closed outside below, outside below 5100 only once during the entire course of the month. Nothing has changed. 5090, 5094, 5090 area needs to be broken for any kind of confirmation of any kind of move. So with that said, 5,200, even 5,230 being the plus 1% level is open today. Be very well aware of that. Whereas to the downside, it's very clear where that 5,130 is, despite that we do have that, you know, Gap still pending going back to Friday at 5117. 5130 is basically your low end, which as you can see is your minus 1% from yesterday, 512672. So that's what you're playing with, like it or not. Your top end 5230, your bottom end being that 5130. That's where the prep went. And again, we have good shares or good trades that are out there. This is 17 out of 20 weeks. Okay. You know, gone through everything. The monthly range is the one that's most significant to me is how we have only traded 132 points this month. So wide open, wide open, wide open. We have to get that break under 5090 in order to start to make very strong commitments that we are going to be getting that retracement down into the 4920 area. Until then, it's open. 5200, 5206, I talked about a couple of weeks ago, everything else. Now, the second unfortunate event is I can't do shit for you right now. Apparently, overnight, the swap happened from Thinkorswim to Schwab, and this is what I woke up to and logged into, and that's it. All of my three screens of all of my other stuff is all gone. My thing is gone. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Gone. Let's try. But yeah, it was... Uh, pretty much gone oh my god there it is it's all back okay so the day just got a little bit better a little bit again it's uh one o'clock 1 30 you kind of want to be ready um i'm gonna be a little bit busy until then um about 20 minutes ago i got a call from wife's sister that our 10-year-old nephew, who was literally just here a month ago, just passed away. So, 
Yeah. Uh, okay. At least everything's back there. So I'll leave you with here. I apologize for that. You got n- none of your business. Uh, five day. These are going to take a little bit of time to open up. And I can tell already that they are not in the setting that I wanted. Uh, five day, 15 minutes. So yeah, we're just here. We're looking at the futures. And on the futures, again, we're at that big 39,530 over on the Dow. As you can see here, clearly, yesterday, all Dow, all Dow, everything was in the Dow. It had nothing to do with anything else. And what wound up happening with that Dow is they wound up sucking the NASDAQ up, just fractionally sucking the NASDAQ up middle of the day, too. Well, middle of the morning was when it kind of started. Uh, over here on the ES, again, you can very clearly see how we're just in this rejection zone is where we're at. We're right at the rejection zone going into the FOMC meeting. Uh, Bring over to the RTY. RTY was the one that had the big fall down the Russell yesterday. And here we are still big drop after we came down last week. And here we are again, as we go into the open today, breaking into that 2024 open and expecting due to, implying that we are going to be going red on the year. And again, there's your Dow. So I'll see if my charts are all up here and I hope that they are. Yeah, they are. So you had your VIX expiration yesterday. Um, But again, we're holding right there on that 50 day moving average, dead smack on it. It's still below the 14. So this is doing nothing whatsoever, but allowing the bulls to have the ability to do as they want how they want VIX under 14, especially under 1451. You got nowhere to go, but up, uh, update here, SPX. Here we go. So SPX, there we went closed right into that rejection area, right into that 5175 area. This is five, 10 days. There we go. 15 days. So yeah, as you see here, we're, we're literally just wedging, with higher lows constantly and still rejecting in this area. You read it for whatever it is that you want to decide that you want to, you know, go and read tea leaves with until the FOMC meeting is out. And then again, we have the meeting and the the conference at two 30. And then again, Jerome Powell will be speaking on Friday with this being the final Friday for the month of March. It is what it is. QQQ, again, same thing. Much easier to see on a bigger, broader picture. Uh, 15 day. Let me go to the 20 day because 20 day, you can kind of see it a little better. Any gap up. And here you are producing lower highs constantly, but still coming right to that 433.50 line. And until that 433.50 line is not only broken, but abandoned, and we are down into the 430s where those April and May 430 puts are in the money. And many of you have gone into June, some of you into September. That's the game that we're playing with here. Uh, IWM, again, same thing. IWM pushing, pushing, pushing. The 50-day moving average coming right here where we're at, right around 198.70. So things are are not looking good. They're not looking good over there on the IWM. Uh, Load study set. Uh, yeah, there you go. Below the 10, below the 20, below the 5, and the getting right down there, waiting to get smacked down at 198.76. So that's what I've got for you here. Uh, I'll go back with Google. Thank God my system is still at least workable. I, 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 I mean, two bits of bad news within the course of 20 minutes just was not going to work out for me today. Um, so here we are with Google still holding that 146.25. And here's your big Gemini going into whatever the hell it's called, uh, the Apple AI bullshit. So, yeah, we're, Google is working out nice. Everybody made money, but there's still a lot of time and a lot of distance. And here's your JP Morgan. JP Morgan being, we don't need the studies on this. Wanted to see that, you know, come on, make it perfect for me. 193.70. Make it 193.70. Double Fibonacci's made absolute and complete total sense. I'm sure I could pull out another 
five different drawings that would all say the same thing, that this is the level to be in. Well, here we are. And like I mentioned and shared with you, not only went with the April 5th, but decided, you know what, this is, how many weeks is this now? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This would be the 20th of 21 weeks that are green with a close below or above 190.63. Thus, made complete and total sense for me to go and take a shot on the 192.50 puts for this week. That's uh, pretty much all I got for you guys. I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm. The pain uh, has been eliminated from the dental issue that I have, and now I've got a family situation that I will uh, be dealing with over the course of the next couple of hours. So I'll see you in the chat room. Uh, call it one one thirty.